In today's video, you're going to learn three different easy visual effects that you can do for free inside of DaVinci Resolve. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it with the first effect, and that is cloning. It's a really popular effect with many different uses, and lucky for you, it's easy to do. First, set your camera up on a tripod and film your scene. It's always good to get a clean plate of the shot with nothing in it, just in case you need that later. Make sure all of your camera settings are set to manual. If they are in auto, they might jump around and cause some really weird results. Import them into DaVinci Resolve and stack them on top of each other. Once you have their timing synced, we can do the cloning effect. The shot I have is really simple to do. All I have to do is select the top clip, open the inspector, and crop it right. And if I need to, I can add some softness to help blend any shadows that might cross over that line. But sometimes your cloning shot is just a little more complicated, so you're going to need a little bit more than the cropping tools on the edit page. So select your clips, right click, and then do new fusion clip. If you go over to the fusion page, you can add in a polygon node from the fusion toolbar. From there, view your media in two node off in the left viewer. You can do this by clicking on the node and pressing one on your keyboard. Before you connect the polygon node up to anything, trace around the subject in the left viewer. You want to leave plenty of room for adding a little bit of softness later on if needed. Once you have closed the mask by clicking on the first point, you can connect the polygon node up into the media in two. And now you can see both of the subjects. If you want to add some feathering, you can add it using the soft edge control inside of the polygon node. Okay, before I go into the next one, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on another video. So now let's say you want to add some clouds to the sky, remove some clouds from the sky, or just change the clouds in the sky. I don't know what you want to do. Well, whatever you want to do, it's really easy to do sky replacement in DaVinci Resolve. First, import your clip onto the timeline and then add in the 3D keyer tool from the effects library. In order for this to work correctly, you'll need to enable the open effects controls for the viewer. You can do this by clicking the button in the bottom left of the viewer. Once you've done that, click on the pick tool in the inspector and drag in the sky until it is mostly black. In that preview, whenever it's black, that's going to be where it's going to be removing stuff. And where it's white, it's going to be keeping all of that. If your initial selection didn't get all of the sky, you can use the add and remove tools in the inspector. Once you have it masked out, you can go to the key adjustments drop down menu in the inspector and fine tune the settings for a better result. There's also some really nice controls under the matte finesse. And once you have something that looks good, you can drag that clip up to the second video layer and add in your sky video right below it. You might need to play around with the color temperature and other color settings of the sky in the color page just to get them to match right, but once you do, you have a really good looking sky replacement. Alright, and let's move on to the final effect, screen replacement. First, you want to import your video with the screen and put that on your bottom video layer. Then put the video that is going to be on the screen on top of that on the video 2 layer. Once you've done that, select them and create them into a new fusion clip. On the fusion page, do shift space and add in the corner positioner tool after the media in two. From there, you can adjust the four corner points to fit the four corners of your screen. If you want to find out how to do this with a moving screen, you can check out my dedicated video, which will be linked at the end of this video. Once it is correctly positioned, we can add back some reflections on the screen. Take the media in one node and merge it up after the merge two node. Then inside of that merge two node, set the blend node to screen. As you can see, the whole image kind of gets a little bit brighter. Now to prevent that, we can take the corner positioner and put it as a mask into the merge two node. That'll isolate the reflections to only the screen. And now if you want to control the intensity of the reflections, you can just adjust the blend control inside of the merge two node. And that's it for the three easy visual effects. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you never miss out on another video. If you want to check out my other screen replacement video, you can do so by clicking right here. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another video.